couple weeks ago, I reported on an app that essentially destroyed YouTube's monopoly. It's not exactly super intuitive to use, but it is an app that was put together by Lewis Rossman. His company did all the development and released it. YouTube has now manually reviewed his channel and given him numerous strikes for just talking about this app issued him multiple manual strikes for just talking about the app. Please disperse. Nothing to see here, please. Look, I've been doing YouTube for something like 10 years, and it seems like every couple of years, yes, I get it, my channel is under attack. Well, this latest content removal, according to community guidelines, is perhaps the most absurd, and it comes at a weird time. Uh, the day before, I had just defended uh, another YouTuber who got an unfair content strike, and for some reason, some reason, I got a strike on a multi-weeks-old video um, the very next day. I defend a YouTuber who got an absurd strike. The next day, I get a strike on a three-week-old video that was still monetized. Okay, the video was still monetized. That forced me to delete three other videos because it would have led to the termination of my channel. What was that video? An obvious parody. A 30-second intro like I do on all my videos, followed by 12 minutes and 54 seconds of context. There was absolutely nothing confusing about my intro. And even if you were confused, the next 12 minutes and 54 seconds of the video explained that it was a parody. There is no way that anybody watched this video on my YouTube page and thought that I was uh, supposed to get a community guidelines violation, but that's exactly what happened. And I can't think of a better time to announce, um, you know, I'm going to go into this, but guess what? Uh, I can't think of a, I haven't changed my set yet, but I'm, uh, giving back to my viewers. I don't know, something like 10 K in prizes. Um, maybe, ch maybe check this out because I can't think of a better time to remind people that I have a daily show from 12 to two on Rumble. I'm not asking people to leave YouTube, but I am asking people to tune into the show and I'm gonna give a ton of prizes if you do. Check this out. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the quartering Rumble 10K giveaway. In November, we'll be giving away 120 prizes with a total value of over $10,000. Here are just some of the prizes you could win. An Xbox Series X. A PlayStation 5, a Lord of the Rings Rivendell Lego set, a 512 gigabyte Steam Deck, an OLED Nintendo Switch, $70 worth of Steam gift cards, a Nintendo Entertainment System Lego set, a year's supply of coffee brand coffee, and a grand prize of a gaming PC from the wonderful folks over at Meta PCs. To be in with a chance of winning starting on November 6th, simply make sure you're following the Quartering account on Rumble and tune into the live show Monday to Friday from noon to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. During each show, Jeremy will provide a fresh link and daily password. Simply follow the link to enter the prize drawer for that day. If you miss the live show, do not worry. That link will remain live each day until 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Each evening, Jeremy will select eight winners for that day and will announce those winners on the following day's live stream. You can enter multiple times, but only one entry per day. That's eight winners a day, 40 winners per week for three weeks, totaling 120 lucky winners. 
All prizes will be allocated and announced at the end of November, live on Cyber Monday. And remember, with the quartering, everyone is a winner. Only actual winners win prizes. So yeah, I'm not saying to leave. I'm just saying, make sure you follow me there. And from 12 to 2 Central Standard Time, I do a daily show. Eight winners every single day for the next three weeks, starting Monday, every single day in a live stream. You can, even if you can't make it live, you have until 7 o'clock at night to enter. So uh, I've got 60 different gift cards. I've got a... A pile of stuff over there, PS5 Steam Deck. I'm going to get an Asus Ally, I guess, people wanted. Um, Lego, all sorts of stuff. But let's talk about this. So a few days ago, I covered Lewis Rossman's um, absurd video strike, community guidelines strike, and takedown by YouTube. Um, essentially, he had announced that he created an app, uh, an app that was similar to other apps, an app I literally can't name on this platform anymore because... They even went so far as not only to strike his video announcing the app, but they went to unlisted videos on his channel, scrubbed the transcript looking for the word or the name of the app, and struck those videos down too. It was an app that allows people to um, you know, subscribe to the creator, not necessarily the platform. I think it's an idea that I absolutely applaud and I support, okay? Uh, this is something that I've talked about for years needing, especially with deplatforming. So for the crime of coming up with an app um, that does that, YouTube gave him community guidelines removals, I believe for three of his videos. Now, fortunately, they lumped it all together and only gave him one strike after I talked to him and uh, his channel seems to be okay, but you never really know how this kind of stuff affects your channel with advertisers or with um, its spot in the algorithm, things of that nature. Now, he addressed it a little bit uh, uh, here. Speaking of companies that don't want you using alternative software that gives you more kills me to say, but I am going to have to censor myself in this platform in a way that I did not have to before. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty in this video, nor will I get into the nitty gritty on this platform. There are certain principles that I have when it comes to freedom, and there are certain principles I have when it comes to identity, and more importantly, owning your identity and the importance of owning your identity that I hope have become much more obvious now that certain content that I've created is less available now than it was before. There are principles that I've had for a very long time, whether it is right to repair, your ability to have the freedom to do what you wish with what you own, uh, or uh, your freedom to be able to manage your own identity. And I, on this channel, it's incredibly important to me that I not just talk about a problem, but that I also try to be a part of the solution. When the problem was that when you get banned from platforms, your viewers can't find you. This app allows them to more easily find you. They, they subscribe to you, my viewers, they subscribe to the quartering. And if, you know, YouTube starts, you know, the algorithm changes, like a lot of you told me, hey, I don't even see your videos anymore. Yeah, a lot of people don't. I went through three straight months of perhaps the worst performance this channel has seen. And then suddenly this week, it came back. Did I change anything? Nope. It just, poof. YouTube decided to want to cut my revenue by 50% for three months. I don't know why. I don't know what I did to fix it. If it was ever fixed, I don't know anything about it. Had people had an alternative to say, well, this is per the person's videos I want to see, that never would have happened. So he talked about it, gets a strike, now is being forced to self censor. Um, and, you know, there is the exception that his app did have a certain feature that YouTube is vehemently against that you could point out, but that is not, they told him that his content was harmful. Now, the very next day after I covered it, okay, I covered it, I said it's absurd. Now, it could all be a coincidence. It absolutely could. But do you remember this video, which I can't play anymore on YouTube because they took it down. In fact, I got an email that said, Hi, Jeremy. We wanted to let you know that our team reviewed your content and we think it violates our misinformation policy. We know that you know this is disappointing. However, we have removed the content from YouTube, and it's this video about CNN. We realize this may be disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure YouTube is a safe place for all. Um, and then what our policy says, this is what the policy that removed it. Content that may pose serious risk 
or of egregious harm by falsely claiming that old footage from a past event or is from a current event is not allowed on YouTube. I never did that. I never did that. The footage I used was current. My commentary on that footage was current. Why now? Why the day after I defended Lewis Rossman? Sure, maybe it's unrelated, but this video is 23 days old. Nobody's even watching it anymore. And oh, by the way, I've already shown you the policy that they used to get rid of it, which is BS, right? But let's say hypothetically, you're trying to give a super huge mega corporation the benefit of the doubt. And they're going to say that, well, we think that content was misleading, you know, because there was all these articles written by Reuters, you know, back on October 11th, fact check, fake audio was added to this video, blah, blah, blah. People were allegedly being confused. And admittedly, I had seen some pictures of some telegrams that were pro the other side, sharing it as if it were absolute fact. Now, I don't know if they knowingly or willingly did this, but let's just say hypothetically, some people were not sure if it was parody or not. Certainly, that is uh, not saying a lot of good things about CNN. If people can watch one of my goofy intros and not be sure if it's real or not. But secondarily, okay, even if you would argue that, oh, maybe it's a little, you know, people weren't sure. The video is 14 minutes and 26 seconds long, okay, of which one minute and 31 seconds, one minute and 30 seconds is that intro, which means 13 minutes, 13 minutes of additional context is provided behind that video. If you were not sure whether or not my intro was real or not, all you had to do was watch the video and I say repeatedly that that is my voiceover guy and that I'm, I'm adding 13 minutes of context to a one minute video. And they struck it down and gave me, you know, over a community via uh, community guidelines thing. I, I obviously, I can't say that the two things are related, but when you've got Lewis Rossman saying, well, now I've got to openly censor myself. YouTube seemingly, you know, a, a almost a month old video taking it down. Why? It had been monetized up until this point. You never had a problem with it. And then I just so happened to have a very popular video defending Lewis Rossman from two days ago that they took down. I'm sorry, they didn't take it down. I, I suspect maybe they wanted to. This is the same company that went through his channel, went through his unlisted videos and struck them down simply for mentioning the app he created. This is why, again, I don't, I'm not asking people to leave YouTube. I know that it, it's a part of your daily schedule and it's a part of your, you know, your whatever. I get that. But what I will ask is I'm trying to build up this live show, which even if you can't make it live, it's between noon and two central time every day. Okay. Every weekday. And um, if you follow me on Rumble, open a new window, okay? Don't leave this one. Open a new window, follow on Rumble. Or take out your phone, download the Rumble app, look up the quartering, follow me there. Uh, I suspect during the uh, election season, it's going to get even tougher to have dissenting voices out there. And I know that Rumble is going to let me say whatever I want to say. Uh, and also... I'm giving away a bunch of stuff, so why not tune in and win? I mean, you could win a PS5 or Xbox, a $500 Lego Rivendell set, a, a Steam Deck, all this stuff. If you don't want it, you give it away for an epic Christmas gift. I've got, you know, $60, uh, $70 gift cards available. Every day, eight winners. See you on the live show. Uh, I have obviously appealed this strike, but I am not confident that they will overturn it. Thank you for all your support over the years. I hope that you'll subscribe down below or follow wherever you're watching this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.